Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. We're going to continue on with this retail run uh, of detail products we have here, products you could find over the counter, anywhere, uh, Home Depot, Walmart, Advanced Auto, uh, Pep Boys, places like that. We're going to take a look at the new finish graphene coating. This is a product they claim can last over a year, and we have already tested the ceramic coating version of this. This here has the same ceramic uh, SiO2 foundation or base, and they just infused, uh, so they say graphene. And we're going to give it a shot. I liked the last product from New Finish that we tested, and it did very well, and that was the ceramic spray coating. Let's see if we have the same outcome with this graphene coating. 24 ounces of the new finished graphene coating for somewhere around $17.98, depending on where you find it. And that comes out to $0.74 cents per ounce. And if this uh, is even half decent, that is a good buy. Application. Spray on the panel, or for me, I like to spray onto an applicator or a towel and spread out from there. I never spray onto a panel directly. But that's, uh, that's subjective. That's me personally. And I'll give you the first person view as well. This here is a little bit harder, a little bit more of a job to remove than the ceramic spray version. A little bit more tenacious, a little bit more streaky and uh, grabby, so to speak. Some things to mention. They do not want you to use this in extremely hot conditions for exterior use only. And they want you to stay away from glass and clear plastics. More notable mentions, no cure time whatsoever. Can be used as often or little once the foundation layer has been laid down and cured and can be applied wet or dry. If you're having a problem, by the way, with streaking or high spots, just like my products, the bead and sheet, uh, you can grab a damp or wet microfiber, level off, and then follow up with a dry microfiber and buff to perfection. With no cure time needed, it's still a day or two anyways till I can get back to it. And something notable, it's, it doesn't have that slick feel, that silky feel like a lot of the products we've been uh, testing lately has. And as you can see, it really holds on to the blocks, so it's quite grabby. I'm not sure if that uh, changes five, six, seven, eight days down the road, but as of now, the slickness is not there. When it comes to gloss, just a small step backwards, and uh, there's a few products that give the gloss meter some trouble initially. And one example is Seal and Shine. And that's the uh, beam of light uh, refracting off of the surface and back up into the tool itself. Uh, some products have a problem with that initially, and five, six, seven, eight days down the road, we can get an accurate measurement. We're also going to introduce heat to the surface here. Some products can withstand it, and some products fail completely. We'll keep an eye on that little corner there as we step outside. And when we do drag the panel outside, we want to remove the tape and look for the jetting effect. And this actually has a heavy jetting effect. A little uneven, a, a little smeary, uh, kind of high spots here and there, but as we introduce it to water and wash it a few times, that should level off easily. Uh, when it comes to the water behavior, it has some decent beating to it compared to the rest of the panel. We'll see how long that lasts. Chemical resistance is evident right off the bat, uh, rejecting the soap water or the strip wash and a little bit of auto foam in there as well. So that's a good sign. That always gives you a little bit of an indication. It, it does have some strength when it comes to durability and chemical resistance. Let's continue on with a 10 wash test and we'll keep an eye on this and I'm comparing it personally to the SiO2 spray coating version of this. 
which uh, had a decent rating. No problem at all with the strip wash and the auto foam. Um, so we'll continue on. We're throwing chemicals at this that are up and down the pH scale. And chemical resistance is one of the things that some of these products boast, being able to resist chemicals between 3 and 10, 3 and 11, 3 and 12. So that's anything that's acidic all the way up to anything that's highly alkaline. So let's throw it at them and see what they can withstand. Again, nothing really can uh, give the, the, the torture that Mother Nature, what Mother Nature can throw at a vehicle when it's on the roadways, parked outside, and then combined with the sun's harmful rays. There's nothing that I can do that can match that and test it, but this will give us an idea uh, of chemical resistance up and down the pH scale. You can see a lot of these products we're using here, they actually uh, are being rejected and it's beating the APC. So I'll wipe it into the panel even further with a damp microfiber. Okay, let me dry off the panel so the next product, and we'll grab a uh, wheel cleaner, uh, can make direct contact with the protectant without being diluted from the water. We'll just use uh, Meguiar's wheel cleaner. Same thing with the wheel cleaner. It's beating the wheel cleaner. It's doing a great job trying to reject it, keep it away from the clear coat itself. It's a good sign. Once again, no problem. So we went up the scale towards the highly alkaline products. Let's head back down towards the bottom of the scale and grab something a bit more acidic. All right, grabbing Old Reliable here, Citral 266, the sealant killer. 
uh, we'll spray this on liber liberally, I can see right off the bat, there are some chemicals that will bead citral and keep it away from the panel. This one not so much, which is a little bit of a surprise because it's breezed through the testing so far. Um, but we'll wipe it into the panel, we'll rinse. Uh, I will wash it to make sure there's no residues and we'll take a, we'll take a look. Uh, so far, it's had no problem with pro uh, products that are, are chemicals that are alkaline, highly alkaline. It looks like it has a little bit of a weakness for s acidic um, contaminants. That could be a problem because here in PA, our rain is a four and a half on the pH scale. You'll see here it's not even rejecting the soap anymore. So you can see what its Achilles heel is. Overall, let's give it some ratings. Uh, ease of use, uh, 4 out of 10. Gloss, 4 out of 10. Uh, slickness, 2 out of 10. Durability, um, 7 out of 10. And overall, I'd give the product a 5 out of 10. I really, truly enjoy the ceramic spray coating a lot better than this. But that's just my opinion. It's subjective. Uh, if you want to give it a shot uh, at... Uh, 70 some cents per ounce hey it may be worth it to you this has been brian from apex detail i'll catch you in the next video